Back on the show is the mangler himself, Matt Bassett. He's got a fight coming up here against Pedro Gonzalez for the vacant 145-pound CES title coming up here on August 12th at CES 37. Matt, how you doing? I am excellent. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. It was very nice. No problem. I, I try and do it with grace, and I hope I uh, deliver to the audience and to yourself. But uh, speaking of excitement, uh, how excited were you when you found out the news that you'd be fighting for the title, uh, especially with everything you've gone through this last year with short notice opponents and everything else? It's, I mean, you said it, man. It was there was a lot of stress involved with that the short notice notice opponents, and it was always for, for CES, which is crazy because they do a really good job matching me. They do a really good job of uh you know uh catering to me almost and uh you know it's just it was last second with them was this something that was a surprise to you or did you have a feeling that they were talking about uh, doing a title fight with you at some point um they weren't talking about it but uh you know i guess it's always always when you're the top guy in new england in the northeast in two separate weight classes then you know it was it was bound to happen you know what i mean Absolutely. Um, how have you dealt with all the uh, you know short notice uh, opponents and things like that? Uh, it, it's really sort of hit you pretty uh, pretty hard the last couple of fights. Uh, just roll up the punches. I guess that's that's the best way I can put it. Um, it messes with you, but I guess I'm kind of used to it now. Here's really not much. I've uh, there's there's some stuff with Bellator that happened. Even though I had, had this like the day of the fight, there was just some obnoxious stuff I had to I had to go through. Um, and then the, the fight before that with, um, I don't even remember my previous opponent's name. Well, there was one who was Ran Weathers. Was that the last one? Or was no, that... no, no, no. Torian Brogus. But, but what was the, do you know the opponent I was supposed to have? What, well, you were was... supposed to have Tito Jones, right? And then he got injured. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it was Tito. And, you know, he, I think he got injured uh, because he took a fight like a week after that. I don't know if you noticed. But he, he backed out with me and then he took a different fight for uh, World Series or something like that or... I don't know if it was World Series. I'm kind of talking out of my ass right now. Um, but uh, I guess you get used to it. When all the time, you just get used to it. You've won four straight fights. Uh, you've won uh, six of your last seven fights. What do you sort of think has been the biggest difference as far as you going on this role right now? Um, really hungry. Like starving hungry. And I don't know why. I'm just kind of rolling with it, like I said. Uh, I, for whatever reason... Um, I mean, I love training. I've always loved training. I've always loved fighting, but I, I got, I have a kind of a, like a bloodlust right now. And I, I want to, I want to go out there and hurt the guy I'm fighting. Um, and I never, I don't think I've really had that before or it would, it would come and go, but, uh, now it's pretty consistent and, uh, I like it. Mentioned off the top there, you're taking on a sit young tongue product, uh, Pedro Gonzalez, uh, who's also won four straight fights heading into this one. How do you think you match up against him? Uh, I think he's out of Redline MMA now. Oh, is he? Gotcha. Tapology, man. They got to update those uh, things. I don't think they? he's been out of Sit Yaw Tongue for uh, a couple years now. Gotcha. I don't know how long, but he was at Sit for a while, but not anymore. He actually just fought Andreas Judy. That's right. Who's out of Sit Yaw Tongue. So. That would make sense. There you go. But uh, but as far as the matchup goes, how do you sort of break this one down? Um, you know what? He's r really well-rounded, um, and he comes to throw heavy, and uh, he's a he's He's a real good scrapper, um, and that makes for a really exciting fight, which I'm, <laughs> I'm so pumped for that. Uh, that's my favorite part about fighting is, like, the, the scrap itself, and he's a scrapper, which is really cool. Um, he's also – yeah, no, he's also really technical. He's got good subs, um, but I think, uh, I think I outclass him everywhere. So, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, but, you know, I don't think anybody trains or anybody in the entire fucking world prepares the way I do. Doesn't matter if you're, um, you know, the UFC champion and you claim to do this or do that, or Dominic Cruz or, or, you know, Frankie Edgar. I feel like I prepare the same way, you know, if not better. With this being a title fight, have you had to change your training at all with it being five rounds now? No, I'm in fight shape right now. Nice. Like I'm that. I'm in 25 minute fight shape right now, um, and I've been that way for quite a while. Um, all of my fights that I've prepared for over the past two and a half years, I've been in fight shape for a 25 minute fight each time. Um, so you'll see me come out for a second or third round and I'm barely breathing through my deviated septum, just not even opening my mouth, you know, and, and they're like, oh my God, this kid's gas tank is really good. And it is. And it's because I've prepared it. Um, and I don't really get out of shape. 
Who are some of the people helping you get ready for this fight? It's always the same people uh, over at Underdog Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, I'll, I'll probably get a lot of uh, knit work with my coach this time, um, more specific stuff um, for striking because uh, he's a little longer and we, I see things that he does uh, over and over again that I could probably take advantage of. So um, I'll probably be working a lot of mitts with him. Um, I work with my jiu-jitsu coach, Rafael Quinones, um, who, I mean, if if I can work with him and, uh, you know, maybe sometimes do okay against him on the ground, like, that I could do really well against Pedro. So, um, you know, it's, it's the guys all the time that, that I work with. You know, I'll probably work with Nick Newell a little bit. I'll work with all the guys at Ascension Athletics, um, the gym I just opened up. Uh, so, you know, preparation is something that I've been – uh, you know, I've, I've perfected over the years. Was Gonzalez someone that was on your radar at any point in your fighting career? Or did this sort of just come about and you're like, Oh, I got to fight him now. Yeah, no, never actually. Um, I never once thought about him. I always, uh, I, I never thought about him as an opponent. I thought about him maybe fighting, uh, my teammate Jeff Haddad because they were both 35ers at one point, but I know Pedro's had some difficulty making 135, and he was just like, I think, he just kind of got sick of it, maybe the weight cut. Um, that's probably why he's doing 145. But, uh, you know, I know for a fact that he's going to make 145 because he's made 135, you know. Makes me happy. <laughs> a perfect scenario here. You get the title. Um, what's sort of the plan after this? Do you think it's a UFC call-up? Is it going back to Bellator? Have you kind of thought ahead to that at all, or are you just sort of zoning in on this fight right now? August 12th. That's it, yeah. August 12th. Plain and simple. I got to get it. A- I got to get a prediction. How do you see this fight ending? Um, I'm going to finish the fight, um, but he, man, he, he's got alligator blood. It just keeps hanging and hanging. Uh, so I'll say like, um, I've been finishing my opponents on the first or second round. I'll, I'll say like the third, maybe the fourth round, but I'm going to get a finish. Awesome. I love it. Well, we certainly look forward to it. Live on Access TV, CES 37 going down on August 12th. Matt, always appreciate you taking the time. Uh, just remind my audience where they can find you on social media. And uh, if you got any cool uh, t-shirts, I know you're, you're big on the walkout shirts. Uh, I know you probably haven't made yours yet for this fight, but uh, where can people find all that information? Uh, there's no shirts this time, unfortunately. What? I've had a- What's going on? Well, not for the past few fights. I've been fighting so regularly that, you know, I haven't had time for that. Okay. Um, but... As far as social media goes, Matt Bissett on um, on Facebook and uh, at ManglerBJJ on Twitter and uh, Maddie Mangler on Instagram.